Now we're going to move over to some company news because Apple cut over 600 jobs in California. That's according to a state filing. And the filing did not specify what sector the cuts are in, but experts are speculating that it is related to the company abandoning their long-running project to build an electric self-driving car. And Shauna, what I think is particularly interesting about this is that these are notices that are filed with the state of California. So we know right now that it's 600 jobs, but it could be significantly more given that some employees could be in other places of the country, of course, and we're anticipating that this is, again, related to Project Titan, the CARS project, but also the display project as well that they were working on. So curious to see how this number kind of develops long term and what the scope of it is. Yeah, and I think when we initially uh, got this news that Apple was abandoning its EV car plants, a lot of the thought there was some of those workers were then going to be moved and used for their AI initiatives and their uh, interest in research uh, within that department. But the layoffs, I think, think for Apple also brings up the fact of a trend that we've seen since the start of the year. We have certainly seen a number of these larger tech companies announce layoffs. Actually, when you take a look at the tech sector, that sector accounted for the largest portion of job cuts of, of any of the major sectors here in Q1. So I think the question a lot of people are asking, we talk about the resilience overall of the labor market is whether or not some of that trend that we saw in terms of trimming headcount in the first quarter, specifically within the tech sector, whether or not we are going to see a further contraction within tech, within within employee headcount, or if we're going to start to see a shift, if it's leveled out just a bit. We were talking to a one of LinkedIn's uh, economists uh, earlier in uh, last hour, and he was talking about the fact that he does expect that to level off just a bit, that tech companies are hiring once again, and hiring has increased just a bit, or interest to hire has increased a little bit on their platform. But when you've got a big name like Apple that is that is uh, cutting jobs here, it's grabbing the attention, it's refocusing some of its uh, focus here in terms of the AI initiatives, it's going to make investors think twice just about what some of those longer-term goals are here for the company.